I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Okay. Hey guys, it's Aislinn and welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. So I'm going to be trying to do Vlogmas this year. I don't know why I decided to do this. <laughs> Literally mid-November, I was like watching a whole bunch of other people's Vlogmases and I was just like binge watching people doing Vlogmas and I was like, I love these videos, they're so much fun. And then I was like, well, why don't I do that? Like I have a YouTube channel, why don't I do Vlogmas? So I decided to do Vlogmas this year. I'm going to try to upload every single day until Christmas day um don't hold me to it i'm gonna do my best don't expect a video every day but i'm definitely gonna try literally my hardest to upload a video for you guys every single day until christmas day so i hope it's something you guys are interested in and if this does well this year and you guys seem to like the videos then maybe it'll be something i continue every year so today we are going to decorate the inside of my house for Christmas time. I was actually not planning on doing any decorations this year. My husband and I are moving next year, so this is our last Christmas in this house. And um, I was just not going to decorate. I didn't decorate for fall or anything like that. I just have not been in the mood and I was just not going to do it. And then when I decided that I was gonna do Vlogmas, I was like, I have to decorate now. I normally hang up Christmas lights outside and I decorate inside, but this year I was just like not feeling it. I was not going to decorate at all, but now I'm going to decorate everything so that way you guys can come along with me. So today we're going to be decorating the inside of my house. So we have to go down into the dark dungeon basement and grab all the Christmas supplies and I'm not going alone. You guys are coming with me. So let's head down to the basement. First of all, I would like to say, okay, listen, I have three cats. Okay, one, two, three. And cats have hair, unless you get a hairless cat, which I'm not into, but my cats have hair. One of them has very long hair. That means my house has cat hair. That means I will probably be covered in cat hair all day today. So if you see cat hair all over me, it's fine. We don't need to talk about it, okay? Also, I need to vacuum, but I'm waiting to vacuum until after we decorate. I've learned this for many years past that if I vacuum, decorate, then I have to re-vacuum because glitter gets all over my floor. So we're waiting to vacuum until after we decorate, all right? So let's head down to the basement, the spooky basement, and get all the Christmas decorations. Fit of the day is some yoga pants with some slippers. <laughs> I hope you guys like Vlogmas, okay? All right, we gotta take off the slippers and we gotta put on some shoes to go down to the basement. I'm just gonna put on my husband's shoes <laughs> to go down there. Hello, Mimi, are you excited about Vlogmas? Yeah! Are you so excited? Nobi, you gonna help me too? Okay, down to the basement we go. Should probably grab a flashlight. Checking one, two. This looks like a red room. <laughs> this is just my back like storage area. So like this is the inside of the house. And then this is just like, it's still part of the house. It's not like a shed or anything. It's our laundry room. And also we uh, store stuff back here. We have a deep freezer. And then we have this door, which leads to the basement. And you can see I've already accumulated some Christmas items. So let me move this stuff out of the way. Okay, let's go to the basement, shall we? Here we go. Ooh, it's cold down here. Into the spookiness. Okay, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay, this is hard to do by myself. I should probably wait till my husband's home to do this, but it's all right, we're gonna do it together. Christmas! Oh, I should have brought the, oh, Santa! I should have brought the light down here. We have this like really big light that's metal, so like it will hang onto the metal. I cannot see anything. We need a better light, you guys. We gotta get a better light. Okay, that was a good first attempt, but it's so dark down there, I can't see anything. So I have to find our really good light, and I have no idea where my husband put that. So let me look for that good light, and I'll be right back. I found it. This light is absolutely incredible. Slides up. Let's try this again. I'm gonna have to go up and down these stairs a few times. put you on the washer and it's all shaky. Okay, let's try it again. 
Oh my god, this is so much better, you guys. So now we have a light. Oh, let's not do all this. Oh my god, you guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, yay. Christmas stuff. Let's go. This is for my father-in-law's tombstone. Okay, we got these two wreaths. Ooh, Xmas. Okay, cool. We got the wreaths. We gotta grab this bucket. Oh. All right, we've got another Christmas barrel here. We have this bag, which has some Christmas pillows and stuff like that. All right, we got two big tubs, two wreaths, a light post, and a big Santa Claus to try and haul up the stairs. So I'm gonna have to take several trips. So I guess I'll go ahead and just head up and come down and head up and come down. Let's uh, get a little time lapse of me doing my daily workout. Hey, let's go, baby. These stairs are so dangerous and I'm a clumsy girl. <laughs> Santa baby. And that's, that's all we got. Okay, hopefully I didn't forget anything. Let's grab our light and head up the stairs. Mission accomplished. <laughs> You guys wondering what mommy's doing back here? All right, now we gotta bring the stuff from that back room into this room and evaluate everything we have. So let me go grab the containers and bring them in here. All right, now that we have all the Christmas stuff up here, we need to open everything up and look through it and see what we have because I honestly don't remember. We've got pillows. All right, let's start opening stuff up. Oh my God. I feel like I have so much stuff. This tub is pretty much all Christmas lights, but we still need to go through it. Hey, we can't eat that, okay, babe? We can't eat that. Let me get your goodie. No, no, we cannot eat the tinsel, baby. <laughs> Why do you like those so much? Huh? Whoa! I'm trying to open everything up here and see what we got. So one of these tubs is mostly Christmas lights. We're not doing the outside today. I'm actually doing the outside this weekend. So I'll definitely, of course, film that for you guys because it's Vlogmas, baby. This needs washed, has cat hair all over it. Joy! We got a couple of green plaid pillows. We got this one. And we have this one that matches that plaid blanket. All right, let's see what we got in here. We have this. It is a welcome basket with ornaments inside and lights, so it lights up at night and there's pine cones in there. Okay, this is something from my childhood. It's literally the only thing that I have from when I was a kid and I literally stole it. So this is a Christmas countdown and I'll be doing this with you guys every day. So today we will be putting the December 1st up here. It's Santa's workshop. You basically take the characters and you put them up here one by one and they Velcro stick onto here. So we're gonna be doing Christmas countdown, kind of like an advent calendar, except for there's no reward. We got some bows. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. What is this? Oh my god, you guys. Okay. We have this big ass flower arrangement that I made from the Dollar Tree. It's really pretty, honestly. And then here's the jar that it goes in. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there now. Almost all of my like small decorations I got from Dollar Tree. What do you see in there? Can I see too? So most of my smaller things I have are from Dollar Tree and I go almost every year just to get a couple new items um, to fill up spaces that I couldn't fill up in years before. So we might have to make a Dollar Tree run. I got this patchouli scented winter candle from my grandma. Most of this stuff is Dollar Tree decorations. So if you're looking for um, Christmas decorations on a budget, hit up Dollar Tree. I got some wax melts. I always burn wax melts throughout my house because I can't have candles because of my cats they don't understand that he is a no-no and they will literally burn off their whiskers. No, no, let's, hey, don't be mean to me. No, 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 we're not doing this. No, 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 You cannot have. So yeah, I burn wax melters most of the time and I like to switch up the scent depending on the holiday. So I have orange and pine. It smells really good, Mimi. I will go get the aerosol can and you will not be a happy boy. 
So I have these. I should probably get some more. I got my aerosol can. A lot of people spray their cats with water. He is challenged. He's got some problems going on up there, but don't we all? Um, so yeah, water doesn't work for him. He doesn't get mad. He literally just sits there and will get soaking wet. So I found he's terrified of these aerosol cans that just literally it's just air. He hates it and it's the only thing I can find to get him to go away. Okay, we have these little mini glitter Christmas trees that light up different colors. Dollar tree, some big balls, little Christmas book, a few little globes. One has an elf and a squirrel and one has Santa and a little teddy bear. Cute little globes. Again, Dollar Tree. I got this little antique shop house. Dollar Tree. This I got for Christmas from someone. I don't remember who. I love these little guys. These are also from Dollar Tree. Their legs jiggle and they like sit on shelves so their legs hang off shelves and I think they're so cute. Got some more little tinsel presents. Here's another box present. And then I have a couple Christmas color candles. All of this stuff I just like display on bookshelves and everything. We've got a little nutcracker and then I've got this big nutcracker. He has a hand missing, but that's okay. We love body inclusivity, so he is missing a hand, but we love him anyway. And then this little nutcracker um, is actually hilarious. My husband got a vasectomy last year and they gave him like a little goodie box and in the goodie box was a nutcracker get it nutcracker because he just got his nuts cracked so yeah we kept this we thought it was hilarious that doctor's office that we went to had like the funniest sense of humor they sent him home with like a bag of frozen peas just like you know it was just like a little goodie bag and it's like a funny goodie bag this i got a really long time ago and i honestly have no idea where i got it i think maybe walmart this is metal trees and it has some lights inside got this little mary sign some little bows just some placemats to put under some of the arrangements so we have this one then we have a plaid and then a little flower one those are some of my christmas decorations i have an inkling that in this other tub there is going to be more i feel like there's more decorations in the bottom of this so i'm just gonna dig for a second and kind of look okay these are random bulbs We've got some tinsel. Aw, Christmas stockings. I have one for Cosmo, Nova, and Luna. So these are my little babies. And then, of course, we have one just for me, Logan, and Aaron. So those are our Christmas stockings. Then I have a couple of these signs to hang up. Merry Christmas and then our gold reindeer. I'm literally already covered in glitter. And then we have some decor sign so here's another merry christmas ho 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 merry and bright and have a cup of cheer why don't you all those are from dollar tree Alrighty, now we gotta actually do some work so i don't decorate every single room in my house i just decorate the main areas i don't do the bedroom my filming room or the other bedroom or the back room or the bathroom or anything like that i just do the living room the dining room and a little bit in the kitchen but for the most part it's heavily in this area right here which is considered the dining room this is the room that you first walk into when you walk into the house so this is the room i like to focus everything on we do have to hang this up because we get to start counting down today i have organized kind of where i'm gonna start i'm gonna start in this dining room area and i opened up a couple bags let me show you they're on the floor here okay so all of these little things right here go on this light up tree branch thing and then you can see right here i have a little group of tinsel and then those three bows they go up here on this sign and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and do that first just because it's kind of the hardest to do i have to stay on the table and everything so i'm going to go ahead and do that okay i got my three little ones got my tinsel let's hope i don't fall and bust my ass Oh my god, that would suck so bad. I have no pictures. Normally I like to take pictures of the year before how I decorate so I know what I'm doing, but your bitch did not do that last year, so now it's an improvising. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna listen to some Eleanor Neal while I decorate.
area is done. Now we need to put the centerpiece on the table right here. So I have a lot of junk right here. I like to put a placemat down underneath this. So let's go ahead and grab a couple placemats to put here. Okay, I like these two, so that's what we're gonna be using. I like to just have this in the center. So we'll probably put this back here or something. I don't know. Okay, so here's what we got. We got the flower arrangement. We got that stuff up there. So, those are the two hardest parts. Now we can move on to the easy things like decorating shelves. Um, we can do this this uh, thing right here, the stick thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but I think it's cute. So let's do that next. I have all of these little clip-on things and this is what I use. So I have a whole bunch of these little clip-on pieces. I got these at Walmart and then I have these, which I think I either got these at Dollar Tree or Walmart. So basically, this already kind of looks Christmassy in my opinion. So I just clip on all of these things just to add to it. I just choose a couple branches and I just slide it down. I have some of these bigger ones as like presents and a drum on it and just some like pine. If you wanna know where I got this from, I got this um, branch thing at Hobby Lobby like five years ago. I don't shop at Hobby Lobby anymore. And the lights I got on Amazon. Yeah, this came from my mom. My mom had one of these in her apartment and I loved it. So I just literally copied her. <laughs> we got some little red ones. Cute. Got some more of these. Okay, so now we have this done and spruced up. Now we're gonna do on top of the doors. So my home was built in the 1800s and I have these really pretty cut out tops of the doorways so i like to decorate up here so that's what i use the tinsel for so we're gonna do these next i have these little pieces and for these little pieces i do normally stick these in that tree branch thing so i'm just gonna add some of these in here then i like to use like little trinkets and stuff to place up there so this north pole sign i like to put up here i like to use these really large ornaments i'm gonna put this really big one up here on this one i don't like to put too much up there if i have things left over from the bookshelf and the other places in the room then i'll add more but i like to keep it kind of minimal for now okay so we're gonna leave those the way they are now time for the shelf we're almost done honestly we only have to hang things on the walls and do the living room and the kitchen a little bit. But those are really easy, the hardest parts are done. So now we have to take off all of the old decorations. So this is from Halloween, my grandma got this for me. Isn't it so cute? Literally, it's adorable. Love you, Oma. Um, I have like cat stuff. Normally my accent color is blue. So these have just been up for quite a while now, this plant. So we gotta take down all of my blue decor. I think I want this up here, but I should put a like mat underneath it because I do have one mat left. And then we have Christmas trees. So we have like this one. We have the Santa book. So I just start placing things kind of randomly on the shelf. I just keep switching things and like kind of seeing where I want things to go and how I like it and if it looks good there or not. Honestly, little trinkets like this people normally don't even notice and I literally have no one coming here except for my mom and my brother. So doesn't really matter if it looks super good or not. So now I'm going to put some tinsel up here with some ornaments. So now I just have like a bunch of these glitter ornaments and I have some pine cones. So normally I just set these up here. Okay, so bookshelf is now done. Now we're gonna take the extra items and go into the living room. Okay, so in the living room, I don't really have a lot to do. I kind of keep this minimal also. I used to have a table, like a coffee table, but I got rid of it just cause it, it made the space look smaller, so I got rid of it. But I do have these two shelves up here. So we're gonna decorate these. These are also very minimal. I just put a couple of things up here. I'm gonna take down this. I'll probably leave the rest of it up. So I just have some of these trinkets left over and I'll just put them up here. I love these little hangy guys. I think they're so cute. We'll put this one right here. Snowman picture right here. We've got a candle. I'm gonna put the snow globe there and then I'm gonna put this candle back on the shelf in here. Okay, so now we just have to hang things on the walls, which is very simple because I don't actually have to hang anything. I just take my pictures down and put up Christmas items. Okay, so this one 
needs to come down. And to be honest with you, normally for the Christmas season, I just slide it behind the couch. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if you thought I was like really precise and organized and stuff. I'm organized when it comes to planning things. I'm a list maker. I like to know where I'm going, what I'm doing, time, stuff like that. But when it comes to like stuff like this, I just don't give a fuck to be honest with you. So now we just hung that right there. And then I have this one right here, which I don't know if I'm actually gonna take that down this year. I might just wrap that with wrapping paper. You know, a lot of people wrap their pictures with wrapping paper and then put it back up. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna do with that. But I don't have any wrapping paper right now, so I'll do that later. So I have that sign and I have this sign. It says cup of cheer. This one I put in the kitchen, so let's go hang this up. I just like to put this one right here. Actually, I think I hang this one over here. There's a little right here. Okay, so I hang that there. And then I normally hang like a Merry Christmas or a reindeer there. Okay, so I normally just hang this on this thing, I think. So we have that one there, Mimi wanting outside. This is the last thing I put in there and it's just a Merry sign. I'm gonna put it here instead. Normally I put this above the stove, but I'm just gonna leave it there because I think it looks better. Okay, we need to hang stockings, put Christmas pillows out, and put this thing out. So I don't have a designated spot for this. Hello, I think I just found a spot. I think that is a good spot for it. It's easy to access. Okay, so we have this one left. I think I'm gonna replace this one with this one. I'm gonna leave that one like that. Okay, now we just have pillows to do. So I just like to put this one down and then put this one in front of it. And then we'll go ahead and put out the Christmas pillows on the couch. Okay, so I think we're done. I just put that blanket up to like show you what it looks like and then I'll wash it once I end the vlog, but I just wanted to show you guys. So let me pick up everything that's on the floor, clean up a little bit, and I will show you the finished results of our hard work for today. I just picked up all the leftover decorations that go outside and I just vacuumed everything. There's still some sparkles on the floor. It takes like three or four times of vacuuming to get all the sparkles gone, but we are finished and I want to give you a little tour of everything that we've accomplished today, okay? We're gonna start here in the living room. So here's a living room. As you can see, we have our beautiful decor up here, all of these cute little trinkets. Then we move on and we've got Ho 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 Santa right there. We've got our pillows and our blankets. We've got our holiday countdown. And then I did go ahead and hang all of these stockings up. Then we're gonna go into the dining room where we see this beautiful grand entrance right here. So I just added some bows on the tops of these. And then down here we have our beautiful Christmas bouquet. And then of course on the tops of each door, we have some beautiful decorations. Merry and bright. The North motherfucking pole. <laughs> and then one of the other statement pieces, this beautiful decorated branch. I don't know what this is called. I'm gonna call it a branch. We have our beautiful pillows. And then we have our bookshelf that we've decorated here. We've got some little trinkets down there and all of this beautifulness right here. Then we go into the kitchen. Merry Christmas. Have a cup of cheer. And then I also found our holiday towel from last year. I feel like that's it. I don't think I'm missing anything. I think we got it. That took so long and it feels like I didn't do very much, but stay tuned because we're gonna decorate outside in a couple days and I'm really excited about that. That's my favorite part is decorating outside. Okay, so that is all for Vlogmas day one. And of course we have to start the holiday countdown. So we're gonna go ahead and go up to Santa's workshop. We're gonna do a holiday countdown every day of Vlogmas until Christmas. So today is day one. So we're gonna go ahead and take Mrs. Claus right here and we're gonna stick her by the fireplace. So there we go. Santa's workshop, day one complete. Um, thank you guys for coming along this journey with me. I hope you guys are excited about Vlogmas. I'm really, really excited about it. I have so many fun video ideas. Like literally I've written like three pages of schedules, fun video ideas, because you guys know I don't have a lot of family here. So I 
don't have like the privilege of having a lot of videos with family in them i'm pretty lonely so um coming up with like fun creative video ideas to do literally by yourself is hard it's harder than i feel like other people's vlogmas because they have family which makes it way more entertaining to watch so i'm hoping that i can entertain you guys if you are lonely like me during the holidays hopefully my husband and i can give you a little bit of entertainment and excitement and you can live through us that is all I have for today's video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys tomorrow.